Okay, let's quickly look at how pipeline, stage, and service variables are used in Harness, how to create them and then how to reference them, and their scope, where they're available to be used, um, both in Harness and also I'll show you in a manifest as well, a Kubernetes manifest. Okay, so <clears throat> pipeline level variables. So those are variables you want to be able to use anywhere in your pipeline. This one, pipeline only has one stage, but imagine it has more stages. So you click variables here. Under pipeline, we have custom variables. I have one already created here called foo, but you could just click add a variable, give it a name, and select string or secret. All three variable types can use string or secret. If you use secret, then we store the, vari the value, the variable and its value in the uh, harness default secret manager or in a custom secret manager you've added to your account, like uh, HashiCorp Vault, for example. So once you have it, you can set a value as a fixed value, a runtime input, and expression. These are explained elsewhere, but a fixed value is obviously just a value you put in there. Runtime is a value, is a uh, reference to something um, that you're going to, well, basically you're going to replace that value at runtime. You're going to put it in when you click run for your pipeline. And then an expression references something else in the product. It could be any one of these settings. It could be a variable, anything like that. So let's just make it a fixed value for now. We'll put bar in there. Once you have that and you want to reference it anywhere in your pipeline, um, you would just click here and copy the reference. And I'll show you um, how to do that with, with stage level and service level variables um, later. Uh, but it's the same for pipeline variables. So that's our variable right there. Now let's look at a stage level variable. So in overview, at the bottom here, you can add stage level variables. And this is true for CD and CI pipelines and feature flags. You click add variable, give it a name. Let's call this one. Well, first let me enter in bad values. And you can see that, and this is true for all variable types, you're allowed to put in alphanumerics, the underscore, and the dollar sign. So let me give you a good one now. I'll call it stage bar, click save, and I'll simply put in a value like that. Now I can reference it, and there's two options here. Um, the first one is for when you want to reference it within the stage, in this case the deploy service stage. And it has stage, variables, and then the name of, this, uh, of the variable, stage bar. Um, so you would simply copy that and then you'll paste it wherever you want to use it and I'll show you that later. Um, or if you want to use this variable in some other stage in the pipeline, let's say I had multiple stages here, I would copy this and you can see the stage name is right here, deploy service. That lets Harness find this variable. And really all this is doing is traversing the YAML, this fully qualified name is traversing the YAML for the, uh, the reference. And as you know, you can do everything in YAML here. And we'll look at the variables in the YAML in a moment. So right now I'll just copy this one. And that's it. And then I can use that and paste that anywhere I want to use it. I'll show you an example. Well, actually, let me go to do service variables and then I'll show you an example. So now we have the same activity in service variables. Create a name. I'll call this servar. I guess that's a good name. And then click save. And then we add a value as well. And let me delete that for a second and show you that we can do fixed value, runtime input, and expression here, just like in pipeline. The same is true with stage. Okay, so let's just do a fixed value, and I'll put a value in here. So now I can copy this one again. Same thing. You reference this uh, variable within the stage. You use this first link. If you want to reference it outside the stage, anywhere in the pipeline, you would use this one. Um, keep in mind that if you are you want to reference the variable forward, so if you are in the third stage in your pipeline and you're referencing a variable in the fourth stage, well, Harness hasn't gotten to the fourth stage yet, so it won't resolve. It'll be a, a problem. Anyhow, so let's um, copy this guy here, and we can use him anywhere we want. Virtually every setting in Harness allows for expressions. So if I wanted this environment to use that, I would simply expression and paste it in there. Done. Um, I'll go back to a fixed value here. But let's look at a, maybe a, a shell script step because that's better for showing. And this is just something people typically do where they echo all the variable names. Give it a name. And then let me maximize this here so you can see. So I can echo and then paste that in there and the, it'll get resolved. I can also have autocomplete and just do it like this and do service uh, config. I think I see it there. There's the stage variable, so I can grab that one. I can do service config, um, service definition variables. There's that guy again, and I can do the pipeline as well. Ugh. Pipeline variable. So it's very easy to reference them like that.
Um, close that and save it. And so one other useful thing to know is that you can also reference them, in the case of Kubernetes, for example, you can also reference them in your manifest, specifically in your values YAML. So if I switch over here to a values YAML file that I'm going to use in this deployment, you can see that I have referenced it right here, stage variables name. Right? So in, you can use it in the values file, but you cannot use it in the core manifest files like your deployment object or your uh, config file or your secret object. You can only use it right here. So using our Go templating, though, you reference this in your deployment, for example. So if I go here, I go to down into my deployment, you can see values.name right here. So if I go back up and look at my guy, so this will get at runtime, we'll replace this with whatever variable value you have, in this case, in the stage one. We don't have one name called name. We better put one in there. And I can just say Nginx. Okay, so at runtime, this uh, Nginx will end up right here in this name, like that. Um, and that's it. That's really how simple it is to create variables and use them in different places. Um, very powerful uh, feature of Harness that is maybe opaque at first, but really worth experimenting with and seeing how you can use them in Harness.